Are you looking to create visually appealing, flexible layouts for your web projects? Pentogrids are your perfect solution. Hello everyone, my name is Sashank and I'll show you how easy it is with Tailwind CSS to build a bento grid. Therefore, what we build can be easily integrated with your preferred frameworks, whether it's Vue, React or Angular. So we will be building this bento grid today. It's super versatile. This specific layout was designed with a portfolio website in my mind, which explains the sections for artist names, photos and work. But remember, you can adapt it for anything. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a bento grid? Well, the inspiration comes from traditional Japanese bento boxes where you have various compartments neatly arranged to hold different food items. In web design, a bento grid follows the same idea. It's a layout where you have different sections of varying sizes organized within a container. Let's talk about why bento grids are such a popular choice. Visual interest. You can ditch the boring uniform grids and spice up your designs with the dynamic look of bento grids. Flexibility. It creates unique eye-catching layouts which is great for portfolios, dashboards and anything you can imagine. Alright, let's start building this. Here I am with my Vue.js project in VS Code. I'm using Vue.js here for the demonstration but the Tailwind CSS and layout concepts work the same in any framework so you can choose your preferred framework like a React or Angular as well. First, let's create a div container with full height and width. I'll go to my empty app.view. I'll create a div with full height and width. And I'll center the items using flex horizontally and vertically. Then I'll create the grid container inside the main container. I'll be using Tailwind's grid class utilities here. I'll use grid. Then we'll give grid columns of 10. Then grid rows of 4. Then I'll give a gap of 4 between each grid item and we'll give the full height and width as its container. Now we'll add 7 sections inside this bento grid. It's completely up to you how many sections you want. For the design I showed, I'll be creating 7 sections. So now we have 7 items inside. Let's add some styling so we can see them. I'll also center the text. So now we have 7 sections inside the grid. The essential part of making bento grid start now. Using the call span and row span classes from Tailwind will control how many columns and rows each section occupies. So I'll just add, it the, I'll just add the empty call span and row span and then we'll see how we can go further. I'll add call span empty and then row span empty so the trick to make bento grids is just these two classes now that we have total of 10 columns and we have total four rows so by default every section or every grid item occupies only one column and one row so with these two classes column span and row span we will be deciding how many columns and how many rows each section occupies so I want to feature, I want to highlight the featured work section. So I'll give more column space and row space for that. So column space four and row span of three. I'll add some padding to the main container so the grid items do not stick to the edges. 
so this is the only logic now you just need to be creative on how many column spaces and row spaces you want to give the more grid columns and grid rows you keep the more flexibility you have on creating how many grid items i'll show at the end what we can do with more grid columns and grid rows so for the artist name i want to give columns of four and then row of just one since it's just name and for photo i want to give the column span of two and row span of one and for the artwork for the first and second artwork i want to give the column space of three and row space of two now in the last row we have artwork three and contact for the artwork 3, I want to give the column space of 4 and I want to give the remaining space to contact. And since the row span of 3 is already occupied by the above elements, we just have row span 1 left. So that's how we build the bento grids. And another good part about the bento grids. I mean the grids in general is that they are already responsive no matter the screen size it's already responsive let's check so i'm making it big now you can see it's automatically adjusted and i'm making it small and you can see it automatically adjusted but still i know some people would like to customize it a bit so i'll explain the tailwinds breakpoint prefixes to change the structure on tablets for example now we can see that the photo is occupying less space and the name is occupying more space so on smaller screens i want to give the same span for photo and artist name so let's see how we can do that so now we have the artist name and photo both are occupying call span of four and call span of two now we want to keep this for only large screens so i'll put excel Excel means more than 1280 pixels from Tailwind's documentation. So if the screen is beyond 1280 pixels, the call span will be 4 and 2 for artist name and photo. Otherwise, we can give a call span of 3 for each. So now if I save, the left side it should be changing. As you can see the artist name and photo are occupying the same column space and if I increase the width once it crosses the excel breakpoint that is 1280 then it will occupy the artist name will occupy four columns and the photo will occupy two three columns so let me turn on the developer tools to see exactly how much is the width I think it's 1061 now so let me go a bit more see as soon as i crossed 1280 pixels it is changing from two columns to three columns i mean sorry three columns to four columns the artist name so that's how we can use this breakpoints excel we have from small to double XL. So small, medium screens, large screens, extra large screens, and like double extra large screens. So you can use that, but in most scenarios, you may not need it, but depending on your design, you might need like this one we have. And there you have it. We have successfully built a responsive bento grid using the powers of Tailwind CSS. I remember I told you that I will show more bento grids with more sections inside. So let me go to a website, browse components, it's called citrusui.in, that's by me and click on bento grid and here you have a lot of bento grids. These are all just some fictional ideas that I kept for different uh, use cases. So here we have a travel blog, then we have a pet supply store, then we have a dashboard of user 
then we have this portfolio like the one that we created now and we have some kind of e-commerce store with a deal of the day and uh, several products being shown and then we have some kind of software solutions so you can get creative with these bento grids you just need to add more columns and rows and like for each section you can give number of rows and columns to automatically get a unique layout and if you uh, want some of these layouts you can just visit this website click on this code icon and you have the code for it you just need to copy paste and you have the grid layout ready for you and then you can just start customizing each section with your own content i hope this is helpful please like and subscribe for more web development goodness let me know in comments what layouts you will be creating with bento grids if you would like a step-by-step -step tutorial on turning this bento grid into a full-fledged interactive portfolio website with Tailwind CSS and Vue.js, let me know by dropping a yes in the comments.